Okay, let's get ready to do this. And today I'm very proud to announce my new book, Shadow Beneath the City, which is book one of the Secrets of Shadow series. And uh, I've just released it on Amazon. And you can see the cover there. So I'm going to talk about my book and just give you a couple of little details and things to pique your interest but I won't give you any spoilers so don't worry about that you can still enjoy the book and uh, we'll just be talking about a little few little things about the characters and stuff like that so you can watch this with no problems let's continue all right then so the Secrets of Shadow series. I've produced the first book, Shadow Beneath the City, that's available now from Amazon. The second book, Shadow Before the Dark Night, is in production and I'm hoping to get it done before Halloween or for Halloween in particular. However, failing that, it'll definitely be before Christmas. It's very close to being finished right now. Then we have uh, the planned series, which I'm unsure, I was aiming for about five books. Uh, and I have uh, working titles for the next two. They've been planned partially, and I will be releasing more information about them as we get it. Anyway, you might be interested to learn more about the protagonist. So the main protagonist is Amara and she's a half Cambodian resident of a large metropolis. She's actually homeless. She's 21 years old. She's a vampire and her vamp her parents were killed by the vampire Vadaz. Then we have her faithful companion, Shadow, who's a Siberian husky, a gift from Amara's now dead parents, and really the last link between Amara and her humanity. There's a bit of an interesting story behind Shadow, but I'll leave that up to you to read the book to find out more about. The whole play, the whole story happens in New Mercia City or the outskirts of it. And it's sort of a gothic, dark, you know, post recession or maybe even depression uh, city. The whole feeling is, is a bit dark. There are strange kidnappings happening. Everybody's scared. The police. Uh, uh, don't have any clues, the public and the mayor wants action, there's a lot of pressure and that leads us to some of the main characters which is Lily who is a main friend of Amara, she's a busker in the botanical gardens and she has a secret that I won't tell you about but is revealed during the book. And she's trying to get money to fix something up. As I mentioned before, the police are baffled by these kidnappings. And that brings us to Detective Carlos Ramirez. And, you know, all of these pictures, uh, except for the ones with Shadow and Amara that I have produced myself, these, all these pictures are just uh, from the internet and they're not representative of, of the characters. They're just sort of placeholders to give you a rough idea. Anyway, he is uh, seriously grieving for Sada Singh, who was seriously injured during a line of duty against some criminal gangs. I won't explain exactly about those criminal gangs because they're, it's a bit special. He is considering using some unorthodox methods to push his case forward because there's a bit of a ticking clock there and during this 
process, he meets Samara and Shadow. Moving on, we have the Lusus Naturae, the sport of nature, and they're sort of a collection of supernatural creatures. I'm sorry if I mispronounce that word. Uh, my French isn't great, but you get the idea that it's all of the unusual supernatural creatures that exist in the world forming this group in New Mercia City and they're up to, or some of them are, up to no good. One of the main antagonists is Griselda the Hexwitch and she's sort of the leader of the Lusus Naturae. Another one of the antagonists is Vadaz, the ancient vampire, who has a strange relationship with Amara, and uh, that will develop through this series. We also have the Werewolf Lord, which I won't give you too much information about, but he becomes a, an important character. Moving on, there are other people and other creatures and uh, people who help or hinder the journey along the way, which I won't go into much detail on, but you can see it's a varied cast and there's lots of uh, supernatural creatures to uh, interact with. So if you're interested in this book, it's a supernatural thriller action. It's young adult fiction. Uh, you know, so it's got vampires and werewolves. There's a bit of horror themes. It doesn't get too heavy, though. And there's sort of like uh, fighting in the um, story. It doesn't get too heavy, though. As long, you know, teenagers will enjoy it. And so will new adults and the young at heart. So you can buy this book if you're interested at Amazon. Um, these are some addresses for Amazon USA, Amazon Australia, Amazon UK, Amazon Canada. So basically, if you use these codes, you'll be able to get there. If you belong to another Amazon group, just search the name of the book in your Amazon. You should be able to get access to it. It's available in paperback and in Kindle at the moment. So it should be available everywhere. And if you're in doubt, just look for the cover, which you're seeing on the, the screen at the moment. That's what it looks like. So it should take you to a page like this on Amazon and you'll be able to order the book. So I'll put some links in the comments below uh, about where you can purchase the book as well as my other social media and promote where I'm promoting this book. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. If, if you actually do buy the book, please review it on Amazon or or review it below or both that all helps me to get the word out um we're a small time publisher so we really appreciate any little help that you can give us and i'll just check the comments for all those links so thanks for watching and bye for now